It's about the calm on the water and the excitement of feeling a tug on the fishing line. Okay, there you go. Go, go, go. Ah. And for many, it's about reliving something they thought they had lost to disability, age, or chronic illness. Well, fishing and, and water is, is very therapeutic to begin with. Uh, but to be able to uh, on a beautiful boat uh, and great people, yeah, I, I totally enjoyed myself. And I feel much more relaxed. Ed Butler was one of the first people to go on a fishing expedition with Dreamcaster Society, a new not-for-profit organization based in Alberta. He hasn't been on a boat since being diagnosed with Parkinson's disease four years ago. The founder, a man from northern Alberta, has paid for dozens of people like Butler to spend a day on the water. He says it's about sharing his love for fishing with others who might not otherwise be able to cast a line. We get to sit there and see them smile. We get to see them do something they can't do on a normal basis. Fighter here. You know, that's like watching a, a little kid learn to walk. Like, my God, all of a sudden that person just did that. They haven't done it in 30 years if they've ever done it. He recruited fishermen from across the country who now offer half-day fishing trips near Edmonton, Toronto and Vancouver. I guess we all have to give back somewhere. He was biting. I don't know if that's the answer. And, and to us it was just, well, let's go make those people have a good day. Adam says he has enough money to keep the society going for about five years go, 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 go. and plans to expand it to Saskatchewan and Manitoba. Zoe Todd, CBC News, Edmonton.